Hi, Ray. It's Dr. Dan. So I'm back to show you a couple of more ways that we can get some numbers out of our SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. So one of the ways we're going to do that is using XY plots. Now XY plots basically plot a parameter along a line. And so in order to do that, you need to have a line, um, which is most likely accomplished in sketches. So we do, we do have some sketches in our simulation that we could already use to make an XY plot. So I can show you how to do that. Uh, let's, so let's just go to insert XY plot and it wants to know our selection. And so let's go find a good sketch to use. So, so maybe we use this line right here. We want to plot along that line. Um, we're going to plot along the length of the line. Maybe we want to plot pressure and velocity along the length of that line. Okay, we can hit show. And so you can see it goes from uh, a low pressure to a higher pressure. So that is opposite what we expect from this sim. We expect the highest pressure to be at the start and the lowest pressure to be at the end. So what actually happened is when I drew the line, I drew starting point here, ending point here. So that's actually how it's plotting. It's plotting from here to here on this pressure. And in reality, that little flat part of the pressure is probably through the thickness of the lid that's in there. So it's not actually doing any change there. The velocity is the same way where this starting velocity is actually up near the middle of everything and the ending velocity is close to the starting point of the flow. So this might be useful for you. It might even be more useful if you would export this data into Excel and then make your own pretty plots. And so you can do that. Um, and that would be one way that you can compare one sim versus another. You export them to Excel and you can plot them on top of each other, which would be very useful. Okay, so I'll put that XY plot in there. Now, if we want to look at some other plots that might be of more interest, we need to add some actual sketches that we might use. So I'm going to go back to the drawing. And we probably want to add um, some sketches. Like maybe we want to see what the velocity profile is across the sim. And so in order to do that, we need to just uh, add some planes that we could do sketches on. And so I'll show you how you can do that. Let's go ahead and we're going to add some planes just in this um, area of the sim. So we start off with that end plane. I'm going to go insert reference geometry planes. Okay, and you can see right now it's starting with our plane I had selected and offsetting it by 10 millimeters in that direction. Um, I want it to go into the thing the other way. And I can make more than one plane. So I can make like five planes, each 10 millimeters offset. And so that's kind of useful that we can make all those planes at once. Okay, and now maybe I want to draw what the, uh, lines in there so I can see what the velocity looks like. So I'm going to start, I'm going to draw a line in plane 8. So first thing, I'm going to hide this lid because that's kind of in the way. And let's draw in plane 8. So I go to plane 8, I select sketch, and I want to create just a horizontal line so we can look at the velocity across there. So it's kind of tricky to do, but if you can get, you know, it wants to do, it kind of locks in parallel to the origin for you, so that helps. So I can start there. I draw across. Again, it locks into 90 degrees if I'm lucky. You don't have to worry about getting the walls on these. It does a pretty good job of that. Okay, so it looks like I have my line in that sketch that's going across that plane. I'll exit that sketch. Let's also do the same thing. in plane 12 here. This will be more interesting because we're going to have a piece of this other line. So I will go ahead and select that plane, put a sketch in that plane. Again, we want a line. I'll draw from there. And I'll go all the way through here. I want to make sure it locks to 90 degrees. There it is. Okay, so I added some planes, I added some lines. Now we can go back to the flow sim part. And let's insert an XY plot. Okay, so it's already selected sketch 13 because I had it selected previously. Again, let's just look at velocity across this line. We'll show it. Okay, and you can see like this is uh, the velocity. You can see even as I hover over these points, you, it puts an orange Fortunately, I don't have two pointers, but it puts an orange point, so we know where we're, we know where the points are. Uh, this is in that little 
branch that's coming off the main one. And this is the main branch area. So we see the velocity profile across there. Again, something you can use, you export this to Excel and then you can overlay plots of multiple models on top of each other to see what it looks like. So we can do the same thing on this sketch. Uh, this plot insert, we use this line. Again, I'll just show velocity and show it. Okay, and we get that nice parabolic flow that we would expect in a pipe. You can also use these planes you created to do cut plots, right? Like we, before we just did a front plane cut plot, but now maybe you want to see a cut plot of, a, and we can look at it as it flows across. So instead of choosing the front plane, I'm going to choose plane 10. Uh, again, I'll just show velocity is probably more useful. Okay, so we can see the velocity profile, what it looks like across that. Again, you might want to fix these values um, to max and mins as, as you want. Uh, and then you can plot on different planes if you want to see how the velocity profile changes down the planes. You can hide that one as well. Okay, so that's way you can add some geometry, um, some references, so that you can actually get some values out of your data.